You have recently released a tutorial on how to install the green wallet. The green wallet offers multi-sig options. What makes it different from other wallets that offer multi-sig too? Yes, that's a great question also. And the green wallet multi-sig option is basically that you can add a 2FA authentication method to your wallet, which means that you, in the wallet, you hold one key or the seed to your wallet, in the wallet. You write down the 12 words. And additionally, Blockstream, the makers of the green wallet, have a key on their servers. And with that, that key you can control with your 2FA method. That means, let's say you uh, take the green wallet and add an email and or a authenticator app to your wallet, to this two out of two. Let's say you are a company um, and you are not allowed to sign a loan, a transaction, or uh, you can't afford a hardware wallet, and or you don't have a hardware wallet yet, then this second factor authentication adds a second layer of security, basically. Because um, if someone gets uh, your wallet or your phone in their hands, um, they can only try to send the transaction, but they need the second key. So if you, for instance, have the green wallet on your desktop and the second factor authentication on your smartphone, then no one can send from your desktop the money, like the, the Bitcoin from the desktop wallet, no one can send it without also having the sec second factor authentication on, uh, on the phone. And um, I think that's a great opportunity. And also for companies, for instance, where not you need at least two people, let's say, um, who are allowed to sign a, a company expense. Then one person can maintain the wallet and can basically send the transaction. And the second person can uh, send the code to uh, authorize um, the payment. And that's the difference because, or a difference, or the difference to the other wallets is the other wallets have different forms of multi-sig in that sense that, let's say, um, with the Sparrow wallet and you set up a multi-sig, then you need really free hardware wallets, for instance. So you make it two out of three, for instance. So you have a ledger, a tracer, a bitbox, and you have to connect all of those, set up a multi-sig um, installation or a multi-sig wallet, basically, with all those free devices. And that's, a, I would say, more complicated, more complex setup that I would not recommend for beginners. And um, so I believe that the green wallet option with the two out of two, with the email or the uh, authenticator option for 2FA is a great way um, for beginners and for people who can't afford or are not able to, to uh, purchase a hardware wallet. So um, that's why I think the green wallet is a great option also with green. And that's the reason why I use the green wallet for this current tutorial. With uh, green, you can also maintain a liquid wallet and they are working on a self-custody Lightning account. So in the future, you can have Liquid and Lightning in the same account with the same seed. You only need one seed for all these different types of assets and accounts. And um, my plan is going forward as soon as uh, Blockstream releases or publishes the new Lightning functionality, then I'm going to make a new tutorial and also with rising fees at the moment. Um, it's also important to have options 
where uh, you can send Bitcoin with lower fees. So that's the Lightning Network. And on the other hand, it's Liquid. And I experimented a little bit with Liquid um, a few months ago, and I want to do that in a few weeks in January again, um, a tutorial on Liquid and hopefully then also maybe Lightning with the green volume.